Welcome to DigiSchool. I'm Marcos Lima, your marketing and innovation professor. In this series, we're looking at knowledge management as an important part of innovation. Today, we're going to look at the seven dimensions of knowledge management that are required for an effective innovation process to take place. Shall we? Here are the seven dimensions. What I'm going to do is explain each one of these dimensions generically, and then in later videos, we're going to look at each one of those dimensions uh, in turn. First of all, we see that we have this dimension of senior management vision and strategy. It is considered the most important dimension because the way the senior management sees the, the perspectives for a company will determine the way they will um, strategize and, and make choices for that company, which will ultimately determine whether the company succeeds or fail. But that vision and strategy is supported by more tactical variables that are equally important. For example, that vision and strategy is determined by how the people in what are the values in that organization, the organization culture, how that organization is structured, what is the, the relationship between the people in the organization, and what are the recruiting and, and, and talent management policies of that organization. We shall see specific examples of how this affects the innovation management of a company. Well, this leads us to the operational uh, side of, of, the, of the knowledge management variables. We're dealing with information systems and measurement systems that will support the tactical and strategic dimensions. Without information systems for decision making, without clear metrics for performance, uh, the strategy cannot be conducted appropriately and results will not be achieved. But remember from our uh, knowledge management uh, uh, discussion that these information systems are subject to the quality of the people using them. So the human resources side, the culture uh, uh, of innovation of organization, how the people use these systems is a very important aspect of how effective they will be into uh, uh, innovi innovating in uh, their strategies, as we shall see from examples. Finally, we have the last dimension, which is learning from the external environment, from suppliers, from partners, universities, which will bring a new knowledge and new ideas and new oppor innovation opportunities uh, into the vision and the strategy uh, of, of that company. This was a very brief overview of the seven key variables of innovation management and knowledge management. In the upcoming videos, we're going to give ex specific examples of how these dimensions help understand the innovative strategies and behaviors of major success cases in innovation. I'm Marcos Lima. Look forward to seeing you at DigiSchool.